What does the Bible have to say about hell? Is it a real place? Why do some people have to go there? These questions should be on every person's mind, but many people assume they will not go to hell because they were baptized in their church as a child. Some assume they will not go to hell because of their many good works. Then there are others that assume they will not go to hell because they are members of a certain denominational church that they attend religiously, and because they pay their tithes. The bad news is the assumptions I just mentioned does not guarantee salvation at all. Salvation is a gift from God for those that believe in and trust that Jesus is the Son of God and that He sacrificed His life by the shedding of His innocent blood to pay the full price for our sins. We can only be saved through faith in His good works because we could never do enough good works to save ourselves. There are many people, even churchgoers, that do not believe that hell is a literal place the unrighteous go when they die. Listen as Jesus teaches a valuable lesson about hell in Luke 16 verses 19 to 31. The Rich Man and Lazarus There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus' evil things, but now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from their pass to us. Then he said, I beg you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded though one rise from the dead. The sad news is that many people do not believe that a loving God would send anyone to hell. God is not the one that sends people to hell. He doesn't desire that any should go to hell, as hell was created for Satan and his evil crew. People send themselves to hell by rejecting Jesus and his commands. If you don't know Jesus it's time for you to make a decision to accept his gift of salvation and develop a personal relationship with him through his word. One last thing I want to share with you is what the Bible calls the lake of fire. Hell is not the final destination for the lost. The lost will be resurrected out of hell and will be judged at the great white throne judgment. The lost will be judged and then thrown in the lake of fire that burns forever. Here is a list of categories of sinners that will suffer eternal damnation in the lake of fire. Revelation 21 verse 8. Amplified Bible Version. But as for the cowards and unbelieving and abominable who are devoid of character and personal integrity and practice or tolerate immorality, and murderers, and sorcerers with intoxicating drugs, and idolaters and occultists who practice and teach false religions, and all the liars who knowingly deceive and twist truth, their part will be in the lake that blazes with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Don't you think it's time to take your eternal destination serious? Please share this video with all your family and friends. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the lost while there is still time.